Hey, 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 good morning. Happy Sunday to you guys. It is so gorgeously sunny and bright here in Vermont that, as you can see, I've got my glasses on. Uh, we are in the 30s and the sun is shining so bright, no wind. So for us, holy man, it might as well be July, right? So uh, I want to talk about what resonates with you and what does it mean and why? And I realize the title might make some of you go, woo, 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 Miel, you're a little off track, girl. But I just want to share something with you because I believe this in my core. So before I get started, what do you think of my scarf? This is a gift from my niece who traveled to India for work. Uh, she works for the United Way and she had to go to India to do some work. And she graciously sent me this gorgeous scarf, uh, which are like my favorite colors. So thank you to my niece, Jasmine. Uh, so let's, let's talk for a minute. Okay. So yesterday, and, and I'll take my glasses off, even though I'm going to squint. So hang tight so I can see y'all. How's it going? It's so bright. I'm like squinting crazy, right? So I want to talk to you guys about what resonates. What's, what does it really mean? What's it about? So first let me start with this story. So my friend Josh, who is the most amazing individual that I've come across in quite a few years, uh, he, he is a psychic medium and he just has like an old soul. He just, he, he just has insight and knowledge and a way of conveying information about how, uh, the spirit world works with us and for us and takes care of us and how we can connect. Uh, and, and it all depends on what you choose to believe, but whatever. Uh, I, I truly believe that there's so much more than just us here and that we are definitely guided by forces that are far beyond our physical being here on earth. And call it what you want. Call it angels. Call it spirit. Call it your ancestors. Call it, I don't care what you want to call it, but I'm telling you, call it God. Call it faith. Call it whatever you want. But it's way more than just us, us physical shells of human beings here on earth. And if you, you can just get quiet in your being and open your, your mind and your heart to hear it, the messages are like constantly filtering in like all the time from, from all kinds of things. You know, when people say, oh, you know, I keep seeing the same number and over and over, well, duh, you know, or, oh, I was thinking about, you know, George that I haven't talked to in 20 years and all of a sudden my phone rang. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sorry. It's not coincidence. Okay. So that being said, let me just tell you my story from yesterday. So those of you who don't know me, I am a first-generation American. My parents came over here from Europe. My father's family uh, was persecuted, and many of them murdered. And he and his immediate family escaped uh, in the late 30s. You know, you can read your history books, but basically this was when Germany took over many countries in Europe and persecuted and murdered people of the Judaic faith, uh, regardless of, of anything else, because they wanted to create a, a, what we call an Aryan nation. Um, so people were, were brutally taken from their homes, their families, and killed. So long story short, my, my father's family was able to escape and fast forward, you know, he, he ended up coming to America and starting life over and so on and so on. My mother's side of the family is Celtic. She is from Scotland. Uh, and, and my clans in, on my mother's side are the clans of Kemp, Bruce, and Stuart. So very royal clans, very old, old, old clans, very historic, um, those of you who, who do or don't know anything about the, the whole British Isles and especially in Ireland and Scotland and Wales, the, the people who there, who live there, there is a, a bringing forth of history and generations through storytelling and oftentimes through music and poetry. So, um, I realize I'm going a little fast here, but just kind of stick with me. So I am drawn I'm very, very drawn to Celtic events. Um, yes, because that's my, my genetics. It is where I come from. But this is going to sound a little odd to you. Uh, but this is the truth. The music of my ancestors resonates. Oh, gosh, I'm sweating. Resonates on such a deep level for me that as I listen to it, I literally can feel in my being, in my heart, um... Uh, like a thumping, like a resonation through my body when I listen to this music. So as I'm driving yesterday to meet friends for lunch, I popped in my, um, a Scottish group they call the Albanach, and I popped in their CD, and it's basically uh, drum and pipe and um, bagpipe music. And I popped that in the CD, and it literally takes me to another place. It literally, you know, reverberates and resonates in my very soul 
about that side of my upbringing, that side of my family. So my friend Josh, how does Josh relate to all this? Josh truly believes that, you know, we need to give respect to our ancestors and the generations who came before us because without them, we wouldn't be who we are and where we are now. And that's the honest to God's truth. I don't care what your, your background is, whether you're, you know, 20th generation American and your family came over and, you know, built the boat and all that, or, or whether you are first generation like myself, without your ancestors, without what they went through, what they did, what their sacrifices were, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be who you are. I mean, that's just the truth of it, right? So for my family, they sacrificed a lot and they came to America to start over, which is a very common theme for people who went through war. And, uh, I spent a lot of years just kind of not really thinking about it. And, and because I actually recently had some conversations with Josh, we talked about, finding out what your history is and your ancestors are. And, and there are a lot of these uh, websites that you can go to, you know, 23andMe and Ancestry.com and blah, 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 blah. The piece of it for me is I'm a very private person and I don't particularly want to be involved in somebody else's database, to be honest. But my um, giving back and awareness and thankfulness and gratefulness to my ancestors is brought to me through different sources. It's through music for me. It's through reading. It's through um, other avenues that is, that's not exactly, let me just jump on and, and donate some spit or some hair or whatever and have somebody else's history brought forth to me because somebody filed a form with, you know, the, the birth records or whatever. Um, so I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying realize that, recognize that in your life, there are things that are going to trigger and resonate with you very clearly and you may not quite understand why they resonate with you but the answer is it's your history it's your background it's your family 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 going back on on both sides of your family that is sending those messages and that that frequency if you want to call it to you and I, I would say when you get that that kind of like whoa kind of feeling just like don't dismiss it because truthfully that's the messages getting filtered into you. I mean, that's where it comes from. I know this sounds like woo way out there, but uh, if you if you slow down and think on it, it really it really is the honest to God's truth. It's out there because there's really more than just us sitting out here on earth. I mean, it's not just us, okay? That's just the reality. Whatever your belief system is, that's the reality. It's not just us. And and there was something before us, and there'll be something after us. So the thing is, learn what you can while you're here for your time that you're here. And be open to it because it opens up a whole world of new information, a whole world of enjoyment, a whole world of, wow, I never knew that. So I'll wrap up this video real quickly with a story, which is really interesting. So my dad's been gone for quite some time now, but I, I sat bedside with him all through his hospice. And uh, what's very interesting, he was a very, very private man and he'd gone through quite a lot of traumas in his lifetime. And he did not share a lot of what he went through when we were kids. And I think to protect us, as all parents do, you know. Hey, Susie, how's it going? Um, and I think all parents do it to protect their children, uh, whether whether you're a birth child or a foster child or, or whatever that story may be for you. Um, but as my dad was, was towards the end there, he revealed little bits and pieces of his life long ago, like when, before us kids, you know, when he was going through the war, just after the war, coming to America. And that was like the only source of real information that I could gather from who he really was, not just, oh, he's my dad, but like who he really was, what he really went through to become the man that he did and what his family and his parents and their parents and every, everybody had gone through, through the generations. And even though he didn't tell us many of those stories to protect us, I would assume, the value in learning the information, although it was right at the tail end of his life, really not only answered some questions for me, but also answered the questions that I had about why things were the way they were when we were kids, which wasn't always great, but it suddenly like, oh, this makes sense. So what I say to you is, and what my friend Josh always says to me is, um, give thanks back to your ancestors, to the generations before you, whether you know them of them personally, and many for me, I do not because they, they were long gone before I was born or not because their being, their essence, their spirit, their soul is still 
available to you out in the universe and comes to you in its own way when you are ready to receive it. And being ready to receive it just means be a little open-minded. That's all. It doesn't mean you have to be like, woo It just means be open-minded uh, to, to really learn what's out there and available for you because it's pretty freaking amazing. And it's kind of a shame that it's taken me to almost 57 to like get, it, get with the program. But you get, you get it when you get it. You know, you're not ready to receive it till you're ready to receive it. I mean, that's just the truth. So there you are on a Sunday, a little, that, that, that's me doing my little Sunday talk, right? Woo! So there you are on a Sunday. Um, it, it was just a great ride into town yesterday, listening to my, my Scottish music there. Uh, it just really made me feel great. So I just want to share that with you guys. All right, so enjoy the day. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's totally gorgeous out. It, it, it's sunny and warm and fab. So enjoy. Uh, I will catch you guys a little bit later and uh, if you want something interesting to do, you know, jump on and Josh, Josh has some really cool information. Uh, if you got time, jump on his site because he's got some cool stuff going on. So there you are. That's that. I, I'm off, off to groceries and working horses and being outside in the sunshine and enjoy the day. Okay. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. Great to talk to y'all.